Hi, this is Fern, and welcome to Nature Art on the Floor. For our nature art assignment, we look to my associate, Franz. Hey, Franz, what do our lovely producers have in store for us today? Well, if it's not messy, it's not creative. Sometimes. Paint Poor Sunset. Sounds like fun. I'm up for the mess. I just need a good reference photo. Go to the archives, Fern. Go. <laughs> I like to keep a physical collection of reference photos for my nature art. Sometimes it's even in order. but not today. All of these should be skyscapes. Now this one has possibilities. Our sunsets are a result of Rayleigh scattering. As the sun sinks lower in the sky, there is more atmosphere through which we view it. The sun's light bounces off molecules and debris in the air, and it's the longest wavelengths, like red and orange, that reach us at that angle. Cold winter air is condensed and holds fewer pollutants, making winter sunsets the most brilliant. Here we have a piece of canvas board in our paint pouring supplies. Except for the paint. We need to make a trip to... Archive. Archive. The Paint Cave. Here is where I keep mass quantities of acrylic paint. Sometimes the cave is even in order. <sighs> but not today. These are samples of house paint, but you can use craft acrylics too. I tried to match the colors to the photograph reference. Let's take a look at our recipe and our ingredients. People often ask me where I get my awesome paint mixing cups. I'll tell you a little secret. I think we're ready to start. Let's hit the floor.
Our sunset is finished. Let's see what the producers have to say. I think he likes it. Salmon is a color in the range between pink and orange. It's named for, you guessed it. In the wild, salmon flesh is deeper in hue based on the pigments in its diet. Much like how a flamingo gets its pink, salmon do so by eating shrimp and krill. Farm-raised salmon are gray, and their flesh is dyed so they don't look gross. The term salmon was first used as a color by the English in 1776, and Crayola introduced it to its crayon set in 1949. Both psychologically and physically, salmon stimulates energy. It's a symbol of health and happiness, and it inspires confidence. It's often used, if a little sparingly, as an accent in fashion and home decor. But whatever you do, don't say salmon.